Part 37 is now in session. Here we go. Bootleg demo of Down in the Delta. Radio for your consideration. Publisher of Studios. December 19, 2003. I mean, no, no, November 19, 2003. Sorry, I'm a month mixed up. Um, and it's an invisible, I mean, not an invisible ink. Ugh, it's not what I meant to say. I meant it's a uh, UK style print date. There. Keeping up appearances. Forty uh, second week, nineteen ninety seven, and print on the twenty fifth day of nineteen ninety seven. Yankee Doodle Dandy. It's in this beat up case. Uh oh, update. This is number thirty six, not number thirty seven. I'm sorry about that. I actually goofed up. This is number thirty six of my VHS collection. <clears throat> Still level. No print date. And here's the back. Bex's 1981 copyright. And the tape master on this is in black and white. Magnetic logos are in black and white too. $1.49. In this case, it's all beat up. It's all cut. Ultra rare thorny in my screening cassette. However, I think it may have actually gotten the wrong tape inside. Uh, la no label. <clears throat> and there's oversized reels. It says Warner Home Video March Promo 1986 WB on it. December 27, 1985 is the print date that it says. Pretty weird. I've never had a thorny my demo before. And apparently it's, it must be like recycled or something. And I checked the Tape Master. It is the one it is the Warner Brothers feature. <clears throat> Some weird reason. Devlin, this is a full length screening set. Oops. Single level, October eighth, nineteen ninety-two. Money train. Printed in the thirty-first week of nineteen ninety-six. Spider-Man. This is my copy. That's nothing special. Thirty-seventh week of two thousand two. <clears throat> Avengers of Robin Hood. Manic video. Copyright nineteen eighty-one. Man of Destiny 1. Still label, end label. Be kind, please, and wind. Rooster, Coborn, and the Lady. Still label. Lamp Thick and Nice by 4. Watch the printings. Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason. Cobra Rooster, Mirror Max. And Working Title. Sound Thick of 2005. Not sure if this tape has Macrovision at the end. It might or might not. This is the Apollo 13 Descriptive Video Service VHS. Sticker label. It looks like the tape for a second was coming apart. I guess not. 29th week in 1998. Devil in a blue dress with Denzel Washington. Still level, 21st week of 1998. Get away, Jordan. Ernie Hayes and, sing and Signature Sound. Canadian. December 27, 2006. So, almost a 2007 pressing. It's a 2007 release VHS, though. Very early pressing. Two tape magnetic set. This one I actually found. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of my other two ta take two of it. Of the Sound of Music. Because that one actually has that. That looks really rare. So, you know, part one. I mean, there's the spines. Here's the backs. Part one. Stick a label. Got the end label there. Then <laughs> part two looks like a reprint, apparently. Fair enough. Oh, it says 1978 on the back. Hmm. <clears throat> Pretty interesting. Next two are also magnetic. Silver Streak. Apparently this one doesn't actually have the logo though. 1980. May or may not keep it. I probably will keep it for now anyway. African Queen. I also got a factory sealed copy of this which is super super rare. I'm keeping that one in the shrink wrap. $59.95 was a suggested retail price. Sticker label fell off. I got the end label intact though. 
one day it just came off. And, ah, well. I don't know where it went, actually. Unfortunately. We got Home Alone from John Hughes. Sticker label. July 26, 1991, printed in the 31st week of 1991. Per day and week in your code. Harry the Spy, Hollywood Video. Mm, first week of 1997. Brady Bunch, Volume 2. EP mode. 39th week in 1995. Has like a greenish, bluish, uh, has greenish, bluish sides. Ugh, sides. I got sneakers. Another copy. 44th ticket 2000. I believe I've actually given that 2000 reprint. Presumed Innocent, Flame Screen Cassette. I also have the official copy, which I previously showed in a, in a previous part. January 9th, 1991. The movie A Charis Line. I don't know if there's also a Magnetic video release of this. I might try to get it sometime. I don't know if it's the same movie, though, because it actually says United Artists, not Embassy. I'm going to see. Sure. It may or may not be the exact same movie, actually. Still level. T120, and there's no part there we can hear code. This is a CHC copy, I'm pretty sure. The big man crossing the line. Wait, is, is that Liam Neeson? Oh, no, no, it's... Oh, yeah, it is Liam Neeson. I guess it is Liam Neeson. I was like, oh, I'm familiar with him. Sticker label, end label, February 27, 1992, printed in the 11th week of 1992. Widescreen VHS of Amadeus. March 23rd, 1998. It says letter box and initials. Saturday Night Fever. Three if we can just have five barn barcode. I might actually get rid of this copy. I don't think I want it anymore. Ron Array Bride. It's really old. Uh, January 28, 2000. I might get rid of that one too. I don't think I'm interested in it anymore. True Lies. 18th can just have five barn barcode. Eh, I might just keep it since it's my first copy. It is my first copy of the film. Ransom white screen. Number 29th, 1997. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Emercy. Sound Fleek of 1995. Watch barcode. Very long barcode. Guess what? Why Screen Death is literally a half a freaking hour at the end of this tape. I even uploaded it for proof. Very, very, very rare. Literally a half an hour Why Screen Death. I'm not even kidding. A cami screener of a beautiful mind. 51st week at 2001. Universal and Imagine. Also a DreamWorks film, I believe. However, DreamWorks is not advertised on the uh, tape, so. March 13, 2000. My first copy of that I ever got. Cleopatra. Kmart, two for nine dollars. So that's a total of four dollars and fifty cents per tape. Distributed by FHE, Hallmark Entertainment. Printed in the 29th week of 1999. 48 hours. This is the early, early, early print. Former rental in Denver, Colorado. That's where I was born, actually. 1983 film. Printed in the... It's on the back. No, oh, sorry. Let me look at that. 19th week of 1984 is what it says. One dollar charge if this tape's not around. Small crack on that lens. That's okay. Shakespeare in Love. Cobrius of Universal. I thought that was cool. The only reason why I'm keeping this tape, this movie doesn't interest me. October 31st, 99. Print in Halloween. Best of Seinfeld, 100th episode. This has a pretty cool closing. I might do the closing to this one this week, this coming week. Probably on Tuesday I'll do it. I'll do it probably on Tuesday. Along with probably a couple other videos on Tuesday. Grumpy Old Men. I am planning to make videos that day on Tuesday and Monday probably. 
December 1st, 1994, and probably a few other days of the week. Next week. Jack Benny program. Watch get printings printed in the 44th in 1993. Got a bootleg copy of Entrapment. Pretty cool. Front and the back are identical. New on air copy. That one probably is theater recorded as well. Assassination Burial. This is an EP mode. Copious of Gateway. Gateway. 13th against I7. Green barcode. Side barcode. Watch Skin of Death and Moaning Sound. Zach and Moaning Sound at the end. Braveheart. Mel Gibson. Braveheart. Bur Bur uh. Braveheart nominated for 10 Academy Awards for 1995, including Best Picture, Best Director, Mel Gibson. Also, Golden Globe winner, Best Director, Mel Gibson. Read this tonight. No blockbuster date, despite having a blockbuster label on the left side of the, the left lens. Six Week in 1996. Oops. Ghost. McDonald's Pressing. Got the 35th week of 1993. An American Tale. This is a very early pressing. This might be the earliest tape I have with the White Sheath and Mulling Sound. Copy. Be kind, please rewind. Video Center. 34th, 1987. I believe it says White Sheath only at the end, despite having something else to go. Kind of weird. They didn't even have a Mulling Sound on this one. I don't, if I, I don't think they did. If I remember correctly. Demo of Indiana Jones Rare to Lost Ark. Special edition. Pretty cool. September 12, 1999, 38th, 1999. Per date and week in your code. With six, you get egg rule. 23rd week of 1996. Watch you have barcode, but I can tell that has nothing because it's a 1996 reprint. Little Sweetheart. Nelson. The ink label from Nelson. June 28th and June 27th, 1990. Hollywood Homicide. Covers Revolution Studios, I think. Yeah, it is. 34th again, 2003. Ocean's 12. This is the widescreen edition. Dark Sticker Label. February 22nd, 2005. Co-produced with JW Productions and Village Roadshow. Golden Eye. This is the copy. It's supposed to be in a box set. Box. I mean, no, no, no. This is not actually. I'm sorry. I got mixed up. This is another copy I have. August 16, 2001. I got Godzilla. This, I believe, is the first copy I ever got. I'm familiar with that and signature. Uh, 42nd week of 1998. Saw in the barcode as well. Bright Eyes. This is a non canine This is an American copy. I can tell because there's no CVC. July 7th, 2001. Manhattan. Got four more tapes after this part. I mean, after this tape. Oh, and the Blockbuster date, I forgot to read, was July 14th, 2004. Black and White. Corporate United Artists. Per date, July 24th, 1997. The others is the non uh, reprint copy. July 24th, 2002. Recommend Slow Your Friends. Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, High Tops Video. I've had this tape for a long time. So I don't remember. Last tape for part 36. Oh, wait, actually, there's two more tapes. Actually, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and show that these both. Snows of Kamanjaro. Good times. Hmm. Doesn't say where it was made. I'm assuming the United States. Hold on. Well. Let me see the print date here. January 26, 2004. This is a 2004 reprint. That's pretty rare. See you guys in part 37.